just chilling at work waiting to get done but i am kind of mad i broke my glasses i can still wear them though but still i can um wear them with sunglasses to keep them up or whatever but i don't know when i'm gonna go get new ones and i know my fiance she's gonna go bonkers but i don't care because uh now, I only need them to drive, to be honest. I don't need them to, like, walk around or go to the store or do any of that. All I need them is for driving. And if I want to see everything that's on TV, then that's it. But I don't necessarily need them walking around because I can still see. I do know, which I find it strange. My dad called me today. And he told me and he was real short because he's that type of person unless he wants to talk to you then that's a bit different but if he doesn't want to talk he just says what he wants to say and then he gets off the phone and he called and he's like yeah i'm gonna uh, try to get you to your truck move back down here which is the job that i just came from i don't know how i'll be there he didn't specify he just said that we'll probably do a night shift and I've heard of them doing this before, pretty much. It's not like a common thing. It's I, at least my line of work and my company at least. But I guess they want to get the job done pretty quick because if they're having, you know, a day and a night shift. So he said that day shift or night shift so my i don't know how long i'll be doing it for if it even actually comes to can't tell you i just know that my sleep schedule is gonna get fudged up like it, it really is because you know i've been doing day shift or really there's only one shift anyway but i've been doing days for the past almost nine years It'll be nine years, I believe, sometime in July. But it, it's gonna get messed up. <laughs> and like I said, I don't know if it's gonna be for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, long term. I, I don't know. But we'll see. Yep. We didn't even really do anything so far. I hauled a couple loads to the guy over there to the right somewhere over there they're uh on the pad not almost on the side of the pad because they needed to backfill the footers on the side of the pad so he didn't really know much english and i don't know any spanish even though my dad's puerto rican and he uh he pretty much just said i i need three loads and right here with a footer i was like okay that's what he pretty much said so i did that and then we just been sitting around but that's what usually we do anyway on holiday days that we're just chilling we just come out here for the half day sometimes we work it really all depends but a lot of times we don't we just sit here just to get the hours and go which in my opinion i'm not gonna lie to you like I would rather have slept in and been able to uh, enjoy a couple hours of extra sleep than to come in here for only a half a day and then go home. But it is what it is, you know. I mean, I, I'm not doing anything, so it's not like I'm breaking my back or anything like that. So I'm cool. I just know that I'm not exactly happy about the glasses situation, but at the same time, I can still wear them. I can still put them on my nose and, you know, drive with them. I, like I said, if it's in the daytime, I just have my sunglasses and my sunglasses will keep them up. So, because it's going to uh, be, if I go to uh, this one place, 
it'll be like 80 bucks for like two pairs so it used to be like 69 but they raised the prices on everything so they got the crane over there and then even with that it's gonna take a couple weeks for them to get them in and all that crap so just something I gotta deal with I mean I needed a new pair of glasses anyway if you look at them uh, let's see the lens right here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but the lens right there is scratched because that happened a couple years ago to be honest we're over there at the red roof and we just got rocky and he uh ran around me and I looked down to pick up something and my glasses fell off my face and then Rocky stepped on them and I'm like fuck and at that time I didn't have the money to go get another pair I have another pair but I think they're in the stores locker and I'm not sure so in the stores locker at the moment because we moved all around so um the stores locker from us right now it's I don't know 40 minutes down like south south of us southeast I believe it is what it is though I, I really don't care enough to go down there and find them to be honest with you I don't even really even want that storage lock. It's freaking like 70 bucks a month. There's not even like furniture or nothing. Like I don't own nothing. It's just a whole bunch of junk that I don't even use. You know? Like I have some papers in there like my social security card and my birth certificate and stuff like that that we never took with us that we kind of forgot. But majority of it's just junk no i don't need any of that stuff there there's something i could sell in there for like a 100 bucks it's brand new it's rotors and some pads that i had for my old car that i never got to put on because it you know got rid of it but just haven't gone through anything in that freaking storage locker it'd be an extra 70 bucks in my pocket i will say that but I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my day. Go home, make, continue my script for my video on my other channel. So I can keep growing that one. And enjoy my freaking four day weekend. And then figure out what's going to go on next week. Because that's what my dad said. Sometime next week, possibly. But who knows?